Hi, and welcome to NAMM 2023. Ruben Music Man Garcia with you here with Blue Cat Audio, releasing or unveiling uh, some of our newest releases uh, with our Axiom version 2, which is an update to our previous release of Axiom, and then our latest release that will be out soon, which is called Fader Hub. Okay, so this is Axiom version 2. And uh, we've added some new features. One of my favorites is the easy uh, feature uh, with, uh, with the letters EZ. When you click on that, it simplifies everything. Um, we're one of the only companies right now that are actually doing this. I haven't seen any other companies uh, with this kind of GUI that simplifies everything. Because personally, for me, when I just want to play, simplifying things just turn off, turns off the technical side of my brain. So it just lets me focus on playing and only worrying about feel and about touch. So this kind of brings me back to my days of having a pedal board, uh, an amp head. So this, uh, it brings me back to a good place where all I want to do is just play. So that's one of my favorite features. Again, is as, as simple as it may seem, I feel like it's uh, very important for us guitar players just to make things simple, even if we have the skill or even if uh, we know our way around things. Uh, we have our uh, tuner at the top. That's like a rack mounted style tuner for the, on the GUI. You can also mute your audio from here. So if you click on that, you can mute the audio so you can tune without hearing the guitar. Um, if we go back to the uh, regular view here, you'll see the rest of what we have on here. So now we've added fully customizable features. For example, now you can color coat your pedal board in the pedal board section. So if I go ahead and go to the drop down menu, I can go ahead and choose select color. You have RGB, so you can pretty much make it almost any color that you'd like. So for example, if I want to make this like a purple, like a dark purple, I can go ahead and do that. So that way when I add other pedals, like let's say I add uh, like this poly vibe here, I can change that color just to keep things nice and tidy and uh, looking good. So if I go to select color, I can go ahead and let's say make this green and a darker shade of green as well. So uh, very neat feature because again, that's uh, very common for us guitar players to keep everything color coded and neat just makes uh, things a lot easier. Uh, so that's uh, some of our added features. Um, also, we have a MIDI learn function. So as you can see, these are green. If we add a MIDI foot controller, you can click and assign functions in real time or MIDI learn. Um, another neat feature, uh, we could use Axiom with pretty much any MIDI foot controller, uh, regardless of age, because I know sometimes we have some old MIDI equipment laying around that we can repurpose. So you can use that to switch between sounds, uh, switch between parameters, turn pedal boards on and off, uh, switch amps, all that good stuff. And uh, also, uh, one of the great features of Axiom is our multi-core processing mode. So if you have a multi-core machine, which most machines are now, you can go ahead and turn on multi-core engine. And that actually uses all the cores in the machine for the processing, which uh, just makes things a lot smoother with the CPU. It's already pretty CPU friendly. I'm actually running this at 128, and it's running very smoothly. Um, but it runs even better with the multi-core engine uh, engaged. Um, also, I'm going to get into some of the other features. Uh, for our presets, you can either uh, find them via the drop-down menu, or you can actually go to a search. So in the search function, you can just go ahead and type in, actually, you can go to factory presets, and then you can choose styles. So for example, if I want surf, I can go ahead and do that. And now we have uh, something called surf mood. Or let's say if I want something more on the bluesy side, I can go ahead and type in blues and it comes right up. So again, you could just kind of just hit the ground running, not have to get too technical and find the sound to start with. And then from there you can customize. So like, let's say if I choose this uh, crunch blues, I can add or remove pedals. And then if I want to save that, I can go ahead and save it as a preset. So a good way to start and then build from there. On the amp section, you can also customize the amplifier itself. So if you go to this icon here with an E, it allows you to see all the parameters of the amp. So you can actually change the preamp section. You can uh, change the filter section. You can even add a noise gate if you have a, a noise issue. That tends to be the problem with single coils or uh, certain kinds of passive pickups. So you can throw in a noise gate if you're having some issue with that. 
which is uh, pretty cool. Or as I like to do, I just bypass the noise gate entirely because I like it to feel natural like a real amp. Um, and uh, also you can customize. Uh, let me go ahead and go back. So you can actually customize the, uh, the entire look of the app as well. So you can change the grill cloth. You can change the grill, the knobs, everything. Make it completely customizable to your liking. And there's also presets for the individual amps themselves. So if you like the setup, you can just change the preset for the amplifier and bank through different ones. And uh, these are pretty much the features of Axiom. I'm going to go ahead and move on to our newest addition, which is the Blue Cats Fader Hub, which will be released pretty soon. And the cool thing about Blue Cats Fader Hub is it allows you to use your computer's built-in networking protocol to send audio back and forth. So for example, this Mac Mini. Uh, this Mac Mini here is connected via network at the network switch here. There's one uh, located under the screen here. So these two computers are connected via network. And basically, if I unmute this uh, channel here, I have uh, the PC running on this channel, which I call the drum PC. If I unmute that, it'll go ahead and send the audio from the PC, which is a drum loop, to my Mac Mini. And then also, if I play the guitar, it's being fed back into the PC via network at low latency. You can also, when you host uh, audio in uh, each channel strip, you can actually host any plugin of your choice, not just ours. So you can do any VST, AU, or v uh, VST3 on that channel strip. So this will be released soon. This is the preview uh, version. And uh, so far, we've had nothing but uh, positive feedback from folks. And they're uh, extremely excited to check it out and also to send audio back and forth between different DAWs and uh, different computer platforms. So uh, cool stuff, nothing but positive reviews. We're very happy with this product, and I'm glad all of you are happy with it as well. And I hope you guys get a chance to try it out for yourselves and uh, with any system that you may have. So this is Mac and PC compatible. And uh, like I said, you can send between different DAWs, multiple computers um, at low latency. So that is our uh, Blue Cats Fader Hub and our version 2 of Axiom. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out. We'll be, sending, uh, uh, we'll be sending an announcement pretty soon of the release. So once it's out, please go ahead and check it out. Please enjoy the rest of your NAM.